Uh, welcome, Wolf of All Vets. We are back with the brilliant Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last two videos, we have been working on Wolf Tan's farm. And in the previous video, we spent a substantial amount of time slowly moving all of the pumpkins from this location to their respective location up here. So if you did find the previous video a little bit boring, I do apologize because we spent basically 30 minutes just moving pumpkins from one location to this location. So it wasn't the most entertaining video in history, that's for sure. <laughs> but what we're gonna be doing today is we are gonna finish up the farm today. I wanna place a few grain silos. I also wanna put a few hoses around, maybe put a few wheelbarrows around and maybe some of those uh, little water pumps that you can get might craft a few of those and we might also make a few hay fences just to line along the edge of this barbed wire fence here just to have some hay in the area because you can't have a farm without some delicious hay so I think that's what we're gonna do probably for the next uh, 20 or so minutes and then if I get that done quick enough I think we're gonna head over to the beach and we are gonna start digging up some of those delicious little shells. I think they're called like manilas or something like that. He always makes a comment about vanilla every time you dig them up, but pretty much you dig up these shells and then you can turn them into fishing bait. And then in the next video, we are gonna go fishing and we are gonna start looking for some of the fish that I need to find that have been released in May. So that's what we're gonna be doing for today and uh, tomorrow or the next day's video. So let's get straight into things. Now, uh, one thing you may notice that I've done off camera is I have crafted this beautiful pathway. Pretty much what I did was I made a pathway out of just straight up dirt, the same dirt that I used for the pumpkin patch. And then I went onto the custom design portal and I found this very, very wonderful pebble design and I've placed it on top of the dirt. So it looks really, really nice now actually. I hope you guys and girls think it looks nice as well. But yeah, I uh, had to spend a bit of time faffing around with the custom designs off camera because every time I tried to do something on YouTube, it just wasn't working correct. So I decided to do it off camera just to make sure it worked and uh, it did and it looks very nice. Not really a fan of how the uh, pebbles cut off over here though, it looks a bit weird, but other than that, it's looking very, very nice. But yeah, let's um, let's get straight into things. Now, I think I've already got a bunch of items I need to place from uh, what I picked up in the previous video. So I think what we're gonna do actually, can I, um, can I craft water pumps? I'm gonna have to head home for a minute because uh, all of my materials and stuff are at my house and also my crafting bench. But I think I can craft water pumps. So I think what I might do is I might craft another three water pumps. I might go and maybe buy another hand cart if Tom Nook is selling them. And then I'm gonna also craft some of the silos as well. But I'm not sure if I've got the recipe for the silo. So we might have to head over to Tom Nook's place so that I can, um, so that I can uh, buy the recipe for the silos. Just gonna grab a bunch of materials. I don't know how much we're gonna need of each, so I'm just gonna grab a ton of everything. So we're gonna grab a bunch of that. I have got a bunch of uh, iron. I thought I had a lot less iron than this. I don't know if I'm gonna need any clay, so I'll grab some clay. Good job I've got all of this in my bag, to be honest. I felt like I was lacking supplies, but Thankfully, I've got quite a bit in my uh, pockets. I think it's mostly because I go on those little island adventures and uh, I always like um, chop down trees and mine all of the rocks and then I come back home and I just chuck it all in my storage. And because I do it so often, you very quickly you start building up quite a big stockpile of just uh, supplies and stuff. I think I might also plant some bamboo shoots as well because I don't actually have uh, any bamboo growing on my island. And there's quite a few things that are very nice that you can make out of bamboo. I feel like my pockets are probably full now. Jesus! <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna drop these on the floor, these fake paintings at the moment, uh, quickly. Um, can I drop them? Oh, it's not letting me drop them. I'm gonna put them in my storage for now. I'm gonna dump them on an island eventually, just so they get left there. Is there a bin in this game? It would be nice if there was a bin in this game. <laughs> I don't think there is. 
it's probably going to be a bit of back and forth between me running to my house and then going back to my farm area just whilst I clamp, cr uh, craft the things that I need. I might also take a workbench up there as well. Jesus. I've unlocked some pretty cool things. I've not looked on my uh, new recipes for a while. Look at that. A street piano. That looks like that new game that released recently by uh, Square Enix. I don't think it did very well. I did play the demo and it was a very naff platformer. It's like Wonderland or something. Balagin's Wonderland or something like that. It's a new platformer from Square Enix. It was a, it was not a good game. I don't like to be negative, but that was a horrendous game. <laughs> I played the demo and it was just like, what the hell's going on? It just, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I don't know what this would come under. Oh, that would be nice to have, actually. Let's craft a toolbox. If you spam the A button, your character will craft faster, if you didn't know that. Which is good if you're trying to make a lot of things, because sometimes you're trying to build a big amount of stuff, and it just takes forever. So, make sure you slap that A button. I'm looking for... I think I can build water pumps, can't I? Oh, we have got this. God damn, mate, you need a lot of stuff for them. I'm going to build those after. Oh, shit, a brick well, and it? Look at these. We've got some very good things. Ah, oh, there we go. I think I learned this from Tom. Look, actually. It's a shame that the same item doesn't stack. So if you made, like, four water pumps, it's a shame that they don't stack on top of each other. I don't think I've got enough room in my bag. Please, let me make just one more, please. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, hang on a minute. He didn't actually craft that one. Oh, no, yeah, he did. There it is. <laughs> oh, no, that's Papa Bear. Oh, no, there it is. I was going to say, how the flipping hell did he craft it and it's not even in my storage? Right, so what I'm going to do is I think I've got a big square of 12 by 6. So we're going to measure out where we can place four water pumps just to make it look a little bit more, a little bit more beautiful. I wish when you place like water pumps and stuff, I wish that it would um, actually water the flowers. I think that would be a nice touch. I'm going to dump some of my other stuff over here quickly just because I'm going to have to loot some of my pumpkins. So we're just going to place some of these. I don't think I'm going to use the garden faucet, aka the garden tap. I don't think I'm going to use that. Wooden toolbox. Here we go. All the water pumps. Right, lovely. Um, okay, so where do we want to do this? So I suppose we could put... I did this one. Maybe like that? What do you think? That'll look, that'll look all right, wouldn't it? got to be careful that he doesn't try to pick up any of the pumpkins now. Lovely. Right. Hopefully. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully I can turn these around. There you go. See, like, I still think that should water some of the flowers like the flowers and the pumpkins and stuff like that. I think that'd be a nice touch, to be honest. But um, apparently Nintendo doesn't agree. It'd be also it'd be good if you could get like a, um, a sprinkler as well. Can you get sprink sprinklers in this game? I think you can get a sprinkler. I think I remember in the reveal trailer for this game, because that was the first time I ever had a proper like interest in uh, Animal Crossing, because I did have a Animal Crossing on the Wii, 
but um, I played it and I didn't like it. I had no patience. I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to be doing. I don't even know what it was called. I think it was let's, let's go to the city or something. And it came with a microphone so you could talk with other players. But I never played it with anyone else. But um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. So I, I never ever thought about playing a uh, Animal Crossing game ever again after buying that game. But um, yeah, I, uh, I saw the trailer for this and I just, for some reason, I was like extremely hyped. I don't know if it's because we was in lockdown and this was just like the kind of game that would have just made lockdown a bit more fun because you could actually feel like you were outdoors again. I don't know, but just something about the trailer for this made me very excited for the game. And uh, I think there was a sprinkler in that, um, in that trailer, actually. Could a sprinkler actually water the flowers in this game? Because that, be, that would be a lot better. Right, let's pick up some of these things now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of garden hoses over here. Just two garden hoses, even though they're not connected to anything. We can just pretend that these are some very, very fat... Oh no, we don't want that. We can just pretend that they're very, very fancy garden hoses and... Uh, we can pretty much place them into the river and then we can use that with the garden hose to water our pumpkins. Even though we can't do that, we can just pretend because, you know, this is a video game and we can think whatever we want to think. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. See, it's looking a bit better now. It's starting to have a bit more character to it. And I think I'm going to place my uh, toolbox over here just because you need, a, you need a toolbox. I mean, that's probably one of the most important things on a farm. Especially when you've got a... Uh, a barbed wire fence like this, you've always got to fix it. Lovely. Got a toolbox over here. Right, so I think what I need to make now, I'm not going to put down these garden uh, forces because they, they look a bit, one of them looks alright, but one of them looks a bit naff. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to start building some silos and I'm going to place them up here. Just so you can sort of see them in the background. I just want to see if Tom Nook's got another wheelbarrow for sale though. He always seems to be selling them. But knowing my luck, he's not going to be selling them today. But he, he normally does. But we'll have to go and have a look. Then we're going to quickly head back home, make a few silos, see if there's anything else we can make. And uh, then we will uh, pretty much be done with the farm to be honest. And then we can proceed to start digging up some bait for the next video where we're going to go fishing. I also need to talk to my residents a bit more on camera. We also need to go and check out uh, um, Chief's house. I have seen it off camera, but uh, we haven't seen it on camera yet. It looks very, very messy. He's got a bit of a naff looking house, to be honest, but uh, we, I want to show you all anyway. Um, looks shopping. I didn't actually have to come here, did I? I've got the app on my phone. Thinking about it, if you do buy stuff on a store, you've got to wait. I don't think I've got that. I think you've got to wait. Yeah, you've got to wait for it to be delivered. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, well. If I find any more hand carts for sale, I'll make sure I'll buy them. And I'll do it off camera and show you all when I next record. One thing I'm going to quickly do whilst I'm here is I'm going to check the prices for the turnips. See if I get lucky on YouTube. It's currently Thursday. I didn't record on Wednesday because I wasn't able to. I didn't have the time. And it was pretty annoying actually because uh, yesterday at the time of recording, um, I had somebody visiting my campsite and it was this cute like multicolored dog. I think his name was Biscuit, but he was adorable. So it would have been nice to show you all. But uh, yeah, I couldn't record on Wednesday, so I couldn't show you because it's currently Thursday. You'll see when I'm recording anyway, because it's the good thing about this game. You've got the time and date in the corner. So 20th of May at 16 minutes past nine. But yeah, on Thursday and Friday, it's generally when I seem to get the best turnip prices. Oh, what's your problem, Timmy and Tommy? Jesus, they've not given me a good price at all the whole week. I think there's always got to be at least one day where they give me a, a good price. Guess I'm going to have to just wait for like late Friday, maybe Saturday, when you start pushing it a bit close. Because if you don't sell your turnips by Sunday, if you didn't know, they go bad. So uh, then you can't sell them at all. So, uh, well, I think you could sell them, but you won't get no money probably. It's, uh, let's see if Chief's at home. 
Yes, he's at home, lovely. Have a look at this guy's house. I love Chief, but his house is naff. He looks like a homeless guy living in a house. It's weird. Look at the state of it. <laughs> you having a good time, Chief? Let's fucking go, mate. <laughs> oh, mate, he's got a good tune playing, he has. Oops. Hey, thanks for coming by. Alright, this is kind of a weird question, but what do you expect? Imagine there's a fishbowl sitting in front of you. Nah, what's inside the fishbowl? <laughs> well, it's not going to be a snake because uh, then you'll probably be drowning the snake. An octopus probably wouldn't fish, uh, fit in a fishbowl. So, uh, and looking at your house at the moment, I'm going to say a pile of garbage. Okay, so this was one of those personality test things, and I've got your results right here. Oh, God. You picked a pile of garbage. That's interesting. Real interesting. Some people might think you've got a real dim view of things <laughs> picking garbage, but I know better. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Isn't that right? You're an optimist. I knew it all along. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, that could not be more wrong. I love how he just goes back to singing. His voice like is really deep and then he goes and sings with such like elegance. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Wolf and Warbets, I'm definitely, definitely not a uh, optimist. I'm a pessimist, if anything. I'm definitely not optimistic. I've tried being optimistic and it feels like the more optimistic I try and be, the more bad luck I receive. So uh, yeah, I'm not very optimistic, I'm gonna be honest. Of course I should craft something. Why else would I click on the crafting bench? Oh, look at that, a gong. Sweet. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to get. Even though it's a bed, look at it. You are right, Flora? Flipping hell, mate. Doing some cardio today, buddy. Jeez, look. Meow. <laughs> it's like he's turned into Naruto. Look at him. Look at her go, I should say. Flora's a girl, ain't she? I think she's a girl. <laughs> I can't even bloody remember. Right, where's the silos? Mate, look at this. We need so much stuff for these bad boys. Oh, come on. Alright, let me just quickly grab some... <laughs> Flora just used all of her energy up already and now she needs a little bit of a lay down. Laying on my sun lounger as well. I love it when they interact with things. That's one thing they do need to do more in this game because sometimes it just feels like they never want to interact with things and they just want to walk around all day doing absolutely jack shit. So it's nice to see them actually interacting with things. I should have probably have stayed in here because I need to put all my stuff back into my storage after. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty much doing interval training. Interval training is where you go really, really hard for, say, a minute flat. So you'll just run at full pace, proper sprint for like a minute, and then you have like a 30 second rest. Then you'll do like a minute of like hard, fast pull ups, then like a 12, 30 seconds of resting. Like, she looks like she's doing some interval training at the moment. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do love this game. It puts a smile on my face. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do with the uh, bowels of hay is we are going to place them over here. I should have probably have made three. Yeah, I think I might. Let me quickly go and make another one.
I really, really need to place one of these bad boys up at the farm. Seems like the correct place to have a, um, have a crafting bench. Lovely. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Look at that Oh no. Oh no, Gulliver is here. <laughs> oh, Gulliver is so aggravating. I'm not going to talk to Gulliver actually because uh, then the communicator parts will start appearing on the beach. I don't know if they already are or not, but if they start appearing on the beach, it's going to make it a bit slower for me to gather up bait, and I don't want that. So we're not going to speak to Gulliver just yet. Actually, I'm not sure if they're going to appear anyway. Just my flipping luck. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the silos over here. Oops. Holy hell, I didn't know they were that big. <laughs> that's what she said. Right, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much centre, ain't it? Well, as centre as I could possibly do it. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? There's plenty of room. No, no, no. That's the same as the other one, ain't it? Yeah. Look at that, that's pretty damn nice actually. Let me uh, quickly get myself. What the flipping hell did you do that for? <laughs> what did you do that for, B Wolf? What, a, what an ass. <laughs> this farm looks great and it proceeds to immediately ruin it. <laughs> now I have to fix the bloody thing. Oh, I suppose I can show you. Uh the design that I'm using. Um, make sure I press the right button. It's this one right here, that's what it looks like. I can't remember who makes it. Okay, right, let's get a thumbnail then. Right, let's get rid of the border. How do you get rid of the border? I always forget the bloody buttons. There we go. And then let's, uh, let's have some sort of happy pose. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Very nice. Okay, so that's that done for now. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna start heading over to the beach and we're gonna start gathering up some bait for the next like seven or so minutes of this video. And uh, then in the next video, we're gonna go fishing. I think we're gonna focus first on going to the pier because I think there's two giant fish I need to get at the pier. I can't remember what ones they are, but um, I'm gonna make sure we go to the pier first because that seems to be the place where you don't really get many fish appearing, so you do need to just chuck some bait on the edge of the pier to try and catch a fish. I might also have to make another fishing rod as well. But let me quickly dump all of my stuff in the storage because we're gonna need as much storage as we can because I don't think the shells stack. I think it takes up one bag slot for each one. Thankfully the bait I saw ya, I saw ya Phoebe. <laughs> Using my sun lounge, what are you doing? Everyone's being very lazy today. Well, Flora isn't being lazy. She's doing interval training, but everyone else is being very lazy. Mind you, I suppose Chief is having a good old sing, and that takes a lot of energy. Singing does take a lot of energy, to be honest. Got a lot of stuff I need to put in my storage. I bought this bear because I'm going to send it to my sister. It's absolutely humongous, like massive. So I thought I'd send it to her just to be annoying. Although she might like it. I think my sister made a room for Timmy and Tommy in her house. Like a little kid's room where Timmy and Tommy can come and stay over. Which, uh, it looks absolutely adorable. I'll probably take it to my sister's island one day. I can uh, take you on like a uh, tour of her island. I'll have to wait till my sister's uh, at home though to do it. Right, uh... 
Uh, I'm going to have to. I'm probably just going to go and sell these. Lovely. Like I said, there's probably going to be one video of this game, and this is like, what, part seven? <laughs> this is a game I like playing. This is a game that is very easy for me to commentate in when I'm actually doing stuff, when I'm like picking up 50 million pumpkins and moving them from one location to the other, then it's hard to do a commentate. But when I'm doing stuff, it's really easy to commentate, especially when you're like talking to uh, the other characters and stuff. It's just it's so much easier to commentate. How much are they going to give me for these? Yeah, not very good. I would have made more money if, like, actually, if I turned them into pumpkins and sold them. Never mind. We got, I've got plenty of money anyway. I've got like six million in the bank still, I think, and I've got 1.5 million worth of turnips waiting to be sold. Just waiting for Timmy and Tommy to stop being gits. Okay. So let's have a look. So I'm not actually seeing anything on the beach at the moment. Because you need to look for the little, the little spitting, the little spitting uh, things that appear on the beach. And I hope it isn't because Gullivir has appeared. Because that means we might have to speak to him and then we're going to have to uh, deal with picking up stupid communicators. Yeah, I think we might have to speak to him because I'm not seeing any. Sure. Oh no, there we go. Let's quickly open this. Oh, a cherry rug. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Literally sweet. Right, let's get me shovel out and then let's start digging. Yeah, Manila. They are called Manila. A Manila clan. Lovely. Yeah, so these, I'm pretty sure these take up all of your bag space. I think it's like one clan per spot. So if you do plan on gathering up a substantial amount of um, clams, make sure you empty your bag as much as possible. Especially if you're planning on going and fishing for certain fish because they are extremely bloody rare. Like I was trying to get the string fish, I think it was. And to catch it, you need to go fishing. I think it's up on the cliffs and uh, in a river. And I, I must have used about 50 or 60 uh, bait and I still didn't catch it. And I don't think it's in the game now. I think I've got to wait till like November or something until it returns, so that wasn't very good. Doesn't seem to be, uh, oh there we go. Doesn't seem to be much bait on the beach at the moment. But yeah, I'll get as much bait as possible. And then we'll go fishing in the next video, hopefully. You are right, Derwin? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm not going to talk to uh, Gullivir at the moment, just because I want to make sure I get as much bait as possible. Because hopefully, if I don't speak to him, then uh, we won't have to worry about digging up communicators. There is not very much. Like, normally, you come onto the beach and you see these little squirty things everywhere, don't you? But as I'm making a video right now and I'm trying to get bait for the next video, it's like I'm being well and truly screwed over. Wish I could see Red again so I could have a word with him about that fake bloody painting he sold me to get. Because I've never bought a fake painting from him, so I don't know if, like, if you speak to him if he says anything different or not. I'm not too sure. Is it because there's shells all over the beach? Maybe that's making less less uh, clams appear. I don't know. Normally there's loads of... Uh... Oh no, there we go. We're starting to get a bit more now. But there's none on that beach near the seagull. Yeah, this, this beach seems to be the best place at the moment to get these manila clams. <laughs> that little sound that plays every time you dig something up. Woohoo! 
Something about it just like irritates me. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about it. I don't know why, I've got no idea. How many have we got? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to fill up our entire bag because uh, we have got a lot of fish that we need to find. Obviously, you can just run around and look for shadows in the water, but that will make it take a lot longer because you're gonna spend most of your time just running around waiting for the fishes to appear. So it's best to gather up a bunch of bait. I don't have any in my bank either, if you're wondering. But I'm gonna have to end the video now, Wolf. Well, that's where I have to carry on with this next time. We spent a lot more time on the farm than I was uh, anticipating. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, that's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry that we spent probably three videos working on the farm. But next time we're gonna be doing some different stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today.